In the last 20 years, there's been a fast advancement of technology and social media platforms. Uh, and one of the challenges that has arisen from this is that um, we've become so dependent on it, or at least teenagers um, who, as you described, kind of still going through phases of development, um, have become so dependent on it, um, at times almost in place of relational patterns, as a psychotherapist I'll call relational patterns, the ability to relate to mom and dad, to primary caregivers, or to, to, to friends and colleagues, um, and, and become isolated in a way that, that, that um, affects the way that our neural pathways in the brain that enable us to be empathic towards others um, may have otherwise developed um, where we have rich social interactions. So I think that's uh, one of the um, major criticisms that has been brought, but, but of course that's individual and personal. Uh, my first thought is that social media platforms um, have been fantastic in, in enabling um, uh, news, for example, communication to be efficient and fast. You know, where we might have written a letter and have to wait weeks and weeks. Uh, you can send um, a message on a media platform very quickly, within seconds or, or minutes. The other has it um, and, and can respond. I think that there have been challenges around social media platforms, um, issues around uh, bullying, um, anonymity, um, where people sort of, for example, with the whole terrorist thing that's happening, you know, um, that people can incite um, certain actions within the masses uh, through social media platforms very quickly. Um, the other is, um, I think what I find really sad is um, how people have got the perception that social media platforms gives them relationships was actually I think you can never replace personal relationships. So I hear people saying I've got 200 friends on Facebook but actually when I when I, I, I talk to those people or explore it and I say really are they really your friends you realize that uh, they, they don't have friends. So, that, so there's kind of um, challenges uh, around, around that as well. I think that the elements that are challenging about um, technology in that it's very much based on a consumerist society. We have to buy into it, you know, you, you have to buy uh, an iPhone, you have to buy a smartphone, you have to do this, and it's almost alienated others um, that are probably um, not interested in it for whatever reasons, uh, whether it's because they feel that uh, they don't want to buy into the in the technology aspect, but it's upon us, and, and so that can alienate um, others. And technology has also been used to alienate and to destruct uh, horrific things we've heard um, about terrorism acts or war or things like this that, that has brought damage on others that we do not condone. So, so I think it's important to hold both values um, or aspects, if you like, in mind, that whilst it's very positive, it has also been used um, negatively. Uh, and I don't think that it's the technology that's bad, so, but I think it's what we do with it that, 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 that impacts on ourselves as humans in this society. Myself and other colleagues who, who write books and, and um, et cetera, I think in one of the books we did, we spoke about um, the world being at, um, at your palm. If I want to find out what's happening in Syria right now, <laughs> I can. Um, to an extent. If I want to send a message to my brother who lives in New York City right now, I can and he'll get it straight away. Um, if I want to let uh, friends know that um, I'm not coming to the party that they're organizing this weekend, I can and they'll all get it uh, without me making much effort at all to ring each particular person or ask somebody to ask somebody um, to be able to do that. So I think that's very positive. I do think as a psychotherapist it's important for us to also consider um, the detrimental impacts on ourselves and our relationships through the use of technology. Um, let me give you an example. I think in our development and our capacity to learn, if I said to any of you around me today, can you tell me uh, your family's phone numbers by heart? Now I can tell you. 
uh, before we had so many mobile phones when I was much younger. I knew my dad's work number by heart. I knew our phone number by heart. I knew my, you know, um, my school number by heart. But if you ask me now, because I've got a mobile phone saved in, I, I don't, I don't have it. You know, I, I have to go to my, to my phone. So I think there's something to be said about that. The other bit about um, technology. I mean, I'm thinking about microwaves and and uh, and, and food, the uh, obesity epidemic that we have uh, could also be attributed to how lazy um, some population, and I think I don't like the word lazy, but how inactive I sort of think is a, is, um, is, is, is a be much better term, how inactive um, populations have become. Um, so you can just uh, button, do everything you want uh, without spending much energy at all. Uh, so that's a beautiful technology you can do that but actually what it means is you know you're not exercising as much you're not going distances you're not relating with others as much etc I'm one that always says uh, I love to live a simple life <laughs> but of course when I, when I think about it uh, from the moment that I wake up uh, I depend on technology I depend on the alarms that I set up to to work, you know sort of go off on time I, I, uh, I then depend on the emails that I have to check each morning to respond, my electronic diary to see what I'm doing that day. Um, communication is, is a much, much, much more efficient. You know, I can work from home. Um, I can find out what's happening in the world through the use of technology. Uh, I'm interested in all sorts of um, kind of uh, film, art, music, uh, etc. And technology enables me to be able to do that. Uh, thinking about technology, um, one of the things where I play different instruments in my spare time, uh, where I used to sort of have to pick my guitar up, play my guitar, play my saxophone, play the piano, um, I can sit on a computer and I can I can I can um, put a track together without holding a single instrument, um, and I love that. Um, and then I decide, oh, I would like to visit somewhere new. Um, that I've never been before, I can get in my car and I can just put in the postcodes and, and, and off we go, you know, and I, I, I concentrate and, and what I do. So, so I think t technology, um, I probably am a little older than, than you guys, but, but and the, the, the reason for that comment is I think I can remember as much technology as I have now. Never two mobile phones, I've got you know, an iPad or I've got a tablet, you know, a Samsung tablet. I've got high-tech gadgets in my house, I've got smart TV, you know, got all these things. I've got um, where I love baking, that's another thing I love. I used to like sort of bake bread and put stuff to it. I can just put all my ingredients in a bread maker and I just press start. See you three hours later. Warm loaf of bread, <laughs> you know. So, so, um, so it's important to think that. Um, I think that, you know, some of the things I said about the impact of technology I've said as well, um, kind of, I think, um, I think the elements where I think, oh, technology has made me less sharper than I could have been, but uh, that could be a myth, you know, because I, I, I don't hold as much information um, mentally as I used to. Um, you know, for example, I probably you know maybe five or seven sets of mobile phone numbers, and that's about it. Whereas before, I, it seemed I, I knew a, whole, a lot more because I didn't have technology to depend on. So. Yeah, and I would make more efforts to find out where I was going, you know, and, and how to get there. I would ask people, I would have relationships, you know, whereas I think what technology can do is it can make people live a very isolated life and be self-sufficient at the cost of um, our ability to interrelate and communicate as, as social beings uh, that we are.